explaining the new NBA in-season tournament. So, the in-season tournament is going to be a tournament with six groups of teams. And the games begin on November 3rd up until December 9th. It's going to be a tournament, sort of like a soccer cup or something like that, in-season cup. The WNBA has one where the team will face, every team in the league will face off, and whoever wins get 500000 for each player. Second place gets like a uh, 250 I believe. Third place gets 100 Fourth place gets 50000 So, decent amount of stake because 500000 per player is a pretty decent amount of money, especially if you're making like a minimum. That's like basically one fourth of more of the minimum. So like, you know the big players earn like a ton, so five hundred thousand is nothing. But they might want to do it for their teammates who might like this money would actually help them a lot. Most players, like from like maybe the tenth player, fifteenth, seventh, eighth day. If they get this amount of money, it will be a ton of money for them. And there might be more awards soon, but right now it's just 500000 So we already have the groups. Each group has five teams, and they will face off each team. So it will be four matches in each group, two home and two away. Games are on Tuesday and Fridays. Teams might be wearing random jerseys and stuff. It will be crazy. But whoever has the best record in, say, West A, the Suns have the best record uh, versus all four teams. Let's say they go like 3-1 and one or something. They have the best record. They will advance to the uh, March Madness style one game. Like... One game elimination, uh, playoff bracket. I mean bracket. So there will be six teams that will advance off of these group, and then each conference will have one wild card team, which will advance. Who has a, who have the best record outside of the other teams that already advanced? So there will be eight teams. Then they will face off. You know, four and then two, at the end. But let's make some predictions right now. Now, it's really hard to make a predictions. Because if a team wins, like gets hot and wins every group uh, game, group play game, that would be really uh, hard to like predict because there's only... Four games, and maybe that team goes off on those four games. These games do count in the regular season except the finals. But let's talk about some dates. So November 3rd, these games will start. Every Tuesday and Friday, there will be group games. So West A, Grizzlies, whatever, will verse one of the teams on Tuesday, one of the teams on Friday, and stuff like that. But it might not be every Tuesday and Friday, just some of them will have group games. Of course, not every team is going to play every Tuesday and Friday. So, there will be just some teams will play. And then, the championship is December 9th, I believe. The semifinals is going to be um, December 7th. I mean, the um, round of 4 and then the round of 8 will be December 5 or 3 to 4, I think. Three to four. So there will be a ton of cool games. Group games should be televised pretty uh, decent amount because the NBA is trying to push this tournament. But yeah, my predictions of just who will win each group. West A, the Suns. West B, the Nuggets. East A, the Sixers. East B, the Bucks. East C, the Celtics. And West C, I have the Sacramento Kings. Now, you can make an argument for any team to win. But yeah, 
just explaining the in-season tournament. You guys for watching, we're out.